action. Here we go. It's March 27th. At least it's supposed to be. It's time for your test. Your test is on genetics and all that stuff. So let's uh, do said test. All right. Here we go. Question one. Oh, kittens. There's kittens on this question. Number one, the kittens shown below were born in the same litter. Kittens in the same litter often have similar characteristics, characteristics such as fur texture and markings because they, A, inherited similar genes, B, were fed milk from the same mother, C, developed in the same environment, or D, were born at the same time. Two, a student used a microscope to examine some cells. He observed strands located in the nuclei of these cells. These strands are responsible for coding different proteins and are known as A, chloroplasts, B, ribosomes, C, mitochondria, D, chromosomes. Question three. Which of the following statements correctly describes an organism's genetic information? A, DNA molecules contain four sub, sub, subunits known as genes. B, DNA contains a combination of four base subunits. C, genes are made of long sequences of chromosomes. D, chromosomes are made entirely of protein. Number four, which graph would most accurately represent the relationship between the four kinds of bases found in DNA? Is it A? B, C, or D? Number five, the removal of a short sequence of bases from a gene would most directly affect the A, pH of the cytoplasm, B, shape of the protein molecule, C, diffusion of materials into a cell, D, the size of the cell's nucleus. Number six, the photo below is of a magnified podocyte, a highly specialized cell that produces special proteins for filtering fluid in the human kidney. The specialized function of the cell is most dependent on A, mitochondria in the cell that produce filtering organelles for the kidney. B, the differentiation of the cell membrane and the functioning of vacuoles. C, the DNA codes in the cell and the activity of ribosomes. D, mutations that produce cells that have a specific shape for filtering the blood. Number seven, PCR, polymerase chain reaction, is a method, of, is a method for carrying out DNA replication. In order to perform this technique, a scientist would need A, a DNA template, enzymes, and subunits with A, G, T, and C bases, B, enzymes, specific receptor molecules, and several hormones, C, a DNA template, ATP, and 20 different amino acid subunits, D, enzymes, several types of simple sugars, and some starch molecules. Number eight, the diagram below represents a process that occurs in many cells. The main function of this process is to A, make proteins needed for cellular metabolism. B, provide exact copies of the genetic code before cell division. C, synthesize antigens needed to combat immunity. D, produce variations in cells before asexual reproduction. Number nine. Number nine, number nine. The diagram below represents a series of events that occur within living organisms. It goes food, step one, amino acid, step two, cell structure X, step three, protein. Cell structure X in the diagram represents A, A, a vacuole, B, mitochondrion, C, ribosome, D, cell membrane. The diagram below represents one of a number of different types of mutations that can lead, that can occur in DNA, right? We've got the original a mutation that gives us DNA sequence. This mutation can best be described as A, substitution of an adenine for a guanine, B, deletion of an adenine from the DNA molecule, 
C, insertion of an adenine base into both strands of the DNA molecule, or D, the pairing of an adenine base with a thymine. Number 11, the diagram represents a segment of DNA in a body cell that has undergone a change in one of the molecular base pairs. What is the possible result of the change shown in this diagram? A, the gene would move to another chromosome. B, more amino acids would be produced. C, the number of chromosomes would it decrease. D, a specific enzyme would no longer be made. Number 12, the instructions for making an important protein in the blood clotting process may be missing in some individuals. Scientists can now isolate these instructions and insert them into a yeast cell that will then produce the protein. Altering yeast cells in this way is known as A, selective breeding, B, natural selection, C, genetic engineering, or D, homeostatic regulation. Thirteen. The diagram below represents part of a biological process that begins with a chromosome containing a specific human gene being removed from a human cell. The overall process is important because A, it may be used to produce chemicals that can be used to treat certain, certain human disorders. B, it may be used to make human DNA identical to that of other organisms. C, it results in the production of carbohydrates that cannot mutate and cause disease. D, help scientists understand how amino acids are grouped together to form a genetic code. Fourteen, a biotechnology tool known as CRISPR-Cas9 allows scientists to precisely edit genes. In order to edit genes, CRISPR-Cas9 must be able to A, block cell receptors from receiving signals, B, alter the base sequence of DNA, C, prevent cells from differentiating, or D, change the rate at which a cell uses ATP. Number 15, in an experiment using particular frog species, nuclei were removed from the intestinal cells of tadpoles and transplanted into the eggs whose nuclei had been removed. A small number of these eggs developed into normal frogs. This suggests that the nuclei of tadpole intestinal cells, A, contain all the genetic information needed for frog development. B, fuse with the frog genes that were already present in those zygotes. C, can undergo meiosis and form gametes. Or D, will undergo mitosis and form a new zygote. Copycat. Number 16. In February 2002, CC, the first ever cloned cat, was introduced by the public by researchers at, researchers at Texas A&M University. The kitten had been born on December 22, 2001, but announcement of the successful cloning was delayed until the animal had completed its, completed its shot series and his immune system was fully developed. In the cloning process, DNA, the nucleus, was transplanted from the two-year-old donor mother cat into an egg cell whose nucleus had also been removed. The embryo was then planted into the surrogate mother, mother cat. Which one of the following statements represents an explanation for why it is necessary to remove the nucleus from the egg cell that is used during the cloning process? Is it A, if the egg cell nucleus is not removed, it will be impossible to predict the color of the cloned cat. B, if the egg cell nucleus remains in the cell, there will be three copies of all cat chromosomes in that cloned cat. C, removing the egg cell nucleus from the, seg from the egg cell will cause the cell to become a body cell. D, if the egg cell nucleus is not removed, the clone cat will always develop into a male. Number 17, within a specific kind of tissue, there are different, times, different types of cells. In bone tissue, there are four different types of cells, cells as shown below. Osteocyte, osteoblast, osteogenic cell, osteoclast. Since the four types of cells contain the same genetic instructions, how is it possible for them to each have different shapes and carry out different functions? A, each cell type has the ability to remove unnecessary DNA sequences. B, different gene mutations take place within each cell type. C, different parts of the genetic code may be used in each of the cell types. D, each cell type is a result of different methods of cell division.
Number 18, the human pancreas contains cells that secrete insulin. Only these cells produce insulin because A, all other cells lack the genes for insulin production. production. B, cells eliminate parts of the genetic code that they do not use. C, they are the only cells associated with the digestion of sugar. D, different cells use different parts of the genetic information that they contain. Number 19, scientists turned a specialized stomach cell from a mouse into a skin cell by activating a specific gene responsible for the production of skin cells, which claim can be made based on this evidence. A, stomach cells have the genetic information to form other types of cells. B, stomach cells receive half of their genetic information from each parent. C, skin and stomach cells produce identical proteins. D, skin and stomach cells have completely different genes. Number 20, when exposed to ultraviolet UV light, human skin cells produce the protein melanin. This protein helps protect skin cells from damage caused by UV light. This is an example of A, a gene that cannot be passed on to offspring. B, sexual reproduction that will produce new variation. C, natural selection producing a new species. Or D, environmental factors affecting gene expression. Oh, cute little foxes here at number 21. Look at that little cuties. 21. An arctic fox has a gland in its brain that secretes a hormone that regulates the production of melanin, a pigment that accounts for brown fur. In the winter, the foxes secrete more of this hormone and their cells, their cells stop making melanin, so they appear white. These pictures below illustrate the two variations of color. Which one of the following statements is most likely explanation for the color differences in the fur of the fox at different times of the year? A. Mutations can be caused by changes in the number of biotic factors in the environment. B. Random changes in DNA can occur to change the expression of a gene. C. The expression of genes can be modified by the external environment. D. Heredity in, hereditary information is contained in genes located in the chromosomes of each cell. 22. Equine cloning can be used to produce, produce performance horses. Although the horses are clones of each other, they may still exhibit slight differences in appearance. The differences in physical characteristics of the clone horses are most likely the result of A, environmental influences, B, changes in gametes, C, natural selection, D, sexual reproduction. Twenty-three. Each winter in the Adirondack Mountains, some of the salt applied to roadways gets washed into lakes. The increase in salt levels in areas where frogs breed has resulted in more male frogs hatching than females. This is an example of A, a loss of genetic information for male frogs, B, an abiotic factor affecting gene expression, C, asexual reproduction of male frogs, D, the normal expression of a gene for female frogs. Alright, we've got a few constructed response questions, right, where you have to write out the answer in sentences. All right, this one is number 24. As part of an assignment, students were asked to record examples of genetic variation in their own families. One student listed the following. I am the youngest in my family. I have brown eyes. I have a scar and I am vegetarian. Only one of these statements is an example of a genetic trait. Identify the genetic trait and support your answer. another constructed response question number 25 Trixie Trixie's pedigree pet owners today have access to genetic technologies that can provide them with information about their pets for example the ancestry charts pedigrees that can be developed for dogs analyzing specific DNA sequences that are present in their cells the presence of these cells of these DNA sequences can be used to determine the types of breeds present in the dog's ancestors the chart below represents the family tree of a dog named Trixie Explain why it only requires a sample of cheek cells present in the dog's saliva rather than using a mix of cells present in different tissues of the dog to determine the breeds making up the dog's ancestry. Remember, write your answer in the form of a statement. Complete sentence, please.
This is a constructed response, constructed response questions, and it's a two-part question. So you need to get both parts in order to get full credit for this question. Fragile X syndrome. Fragile X syndrome is a genetic disorder associated with a mutation in a gene located on a particular human chromosome called the X chromosome. The disorder results in the critical protein FMR1 not being produced. The normal FMR1 protein helps regulate the production of other proteins that play a role in the development of nerve cells. The situation is summarized, summarized below. Normal X chromosomes, normal FMR1 protein produce. Nerve cell development is regulated. At normal, fragile X chromosome, no FMR1 protein produce. Nerve cell development is unregulated. Explain how the mutation in the fragile X chromosome affects the body. In your answer, be sure to do one. State one specific reason why the mutated gene on the fragile X chromosome is unable to produce the FMR1 protein. And two, explain why children with fragile X syndrome would often have learning disabilities, including speech and language problems and intellectual disabilities. The best thing to do is actually label the two parts of your answer, one and then two, because you need to answer both to get credit for this question. Hey, another constructed response, another long, a short answer question. How one bull, number 27, how one bull cost the dairy industry $420 million. It all started with a bull named Chief. He had 16,000 daughters, 500,000 granddaughters, and 2 million great granddaughters. Today, 14% of the genes present in Holstein dairy cows came from Chief. Chief was popular because his daughters were fantastic milk producers. The problem is he also had a single copy of a deadly mutation. The mutation spread undetected through Holstein's cow population and was responsible for the spontaneous death of 500,000 fetal calves. The loss of these calves costs the dairy industry $420 million. Over the past 35 years, using, Cliff's, um, using Chief's sperm instead of the sperm from an average bull, has resulted in a $30 billion increase in milk production. Due to Chief's genetic contribution, the average dairy cow today produces four times more milk than the dairy cows did in the 1960s. Chief embodies the trade-offs associated with selective breeding. Explain how the use of Chief to produce offspring had both advantages and disadvantages. Oh, we're back to a multiple choice. Models A and B below illustrate two different methods of reproduction. There's model A. And mo Sorry, model A and model B. Which one of the following statements best describes the offspring that result from these methods? Model A produces offspring with genetic information different from the parent. Model B produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent. Model A produces offspring with identical genetic information to the parent cells. Model B produces offspring that are genetically different from the parent cells. C, both models A and B produce offspring that have fewer chromosomes than the parent cells. Or is it D, both models A and B re result in offspring that have more chromosomes than the parent cells? Number 29, the diagram below represents a male and female frog with a model of their chromosomes and their tadpole offspring. Identify the pattern of chromosomes possible in the tadpole offspring from these parent frogs. Is it A, B, C, or D? Oops, number 30 is what we're after. All the genetic information necessary for the growth and development in a sexually reproducing producing animal is present in A, zygotes, B, either sperm cells or egg cells, C, sperm cells only, D, egg cells only. Number 31, hammerhead sharks are unlike most other shark species. Nearly all shark species either lay eggs or give birth to live young after their eggs hatch internally. Hammerhead sharks form a placenta, a structure more commonly found in mammals, such as humans. One role of the placenta in the development of the offspring is normally to A, produce gametes, B, provide milk, C, produce blood cells, or D, transfer nutrients.
32, which three processes usually result in the greatest variety of possible gene combinations? A, mutation, meiosis, and fertilization. B, differentiation, mutation, and fertilization. C, differentiation, meiosis, and fertilization. D, cloning, meiosis, and fertilization. Oh, here we go. Number 33. Process of meiotic division in human females is represented before, below. Meiotic division. This process normally produces A, four functional gametes, each with one half of the genetic information found in the diploid germ cell. B, one functional gamete with one quarter of the gene genetic information found in the diploid germ cell. C, one functional gamete with one half of the genetic information found in the diploid germ cell. Or D, four functional gametes, each with one quarter of the genetic information found in the diploid germ cell. Question 34. The process of meiotic division in human males is represented below. This process produces four sperm cells, each with A, one quarter of the genetic information contained in a diploid germ cell. B, twice the genetic information found in a diploid germ cell. C, all of the genetic information contained in the diploid germ cell. Or D, one half of the genetic information found in the diploid germ cell. And that's it, folks. That's the test. 34 questions. How did you think you did? All right. Remember, you can only go back twice to make any corrections. So best of luck to you. How do I stop this crazy thing? <laughs>